the potato pyramid was complete, yielding 309,000 potatoes per day. But as an ex-English major, I decided that math wasn't enough to defeat my enemies. I needed to consult the classics. In The Art of War, Sun Tzu says, If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. So I decided to do some investigative journalism. I discovered a forum post from September in which a user named I'm a Squid Kid bragged about being ranked number one in potatoes. By stalking his profile, I found another post weeks later in which he suggested he was now around seven million potatoes. By putting these two data values on a grid, I could calculate the slope to estimate his average daily potato yield. It wasn't perfect, but it was the best method I could think of to estimate how strong his potato farm was. I mean, it's not like I could just go to his island and and look at it. Wait, that worked? But what I found shocked me to my very core. No, no, this can't be. This man made eight potato 11 minions and then he painted the Mona Lisa. It was at this moment I realized that I wasn't dealing with the potato madman but a potato supervillain. At this point, I fell into despair. All sense of rationality, even the slightest hope of making his money back, this man had thrown them all away to farm potatoes. Farm in Skyblock, I was ranked 20 on the leaderboards and rising fast, and yet I knew in my heart that it wasn't enough. It wasn't even close. But what more could I do? Farm potatoes by hand? I actually did for like an hour. It made a tiny dent. Sure, it would have worked eventually, but come on, is mindlessly repeating the same task for hundreds of hours really what Skyblock's all about? Okay, yeah, pretty much, but I wasn't about to do that, man. When I said 100 hours, I was not kidding. And yet, as time went on, it began to seem like that was truly the only way. The opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself, Sun Tzu. I'd done it. I'd discovered a critical flaw with Squid Kid's potato farm. His minions were too close together. Now with any other kind of minion, that wouldn't have mattered at all, but potato minions are unique. When they're too close together, they'll start trying to plant in spots the other minions already planted and get stuck in an infinite loop dragging down the overall farm's potato output by as much as 90%. The reason he hadn't noticed this and was still first place in potatoes is because this only happens when someone is online and on the island. Anyways, he left the door to his AFK machine open, so I left my alt in there. Welcome to the real world, Squid Kid. Okay, can we take a moment to talk about Jerry, alright? I got a Jerry here. I got a Jerry there. There's actually, there's actually two Jerry's in there. I have video evidence, okay? Look at this. He's multiplying. He's undergoing mitosis. But that's not all the other day. I was just minding my business and then... Why is he there? When I went to AFK on his island again... Oh god, he's online. What do you want? <sighs> Why do you keep doing this? I just... I, I just wanted to check on the Last Supper, man. You AFK'd on my island for 12 hours! It was a good painting! I figured Squid Kid would find it a little bit suspicious if the same guy was AFK at his island every day, so I got a second account, and then I left them both in there. Be extremely subtle, even to the point of formlessness. What? Why? Why are you guys here? Still. To be safe, I kept AFK in on his island, until one day. I checked my alt's window for a moment, and the island was full. Two guys I'd never heard of before had called the police on Squid Kid and brought a helper to investigate him. Who called the police? Whitelisted. Are you Squid Kid's alt? No, I just AFK here a lot. As a hobby, I'm so suspicious. He doesn't believe me at all. I'm getting banned. They'd been investigating while Squid Kid was offline. I met him later that day and decided to warn him. Squid... I know we've had our differences, but the police are after you, man. I saw a helper. I saw a helper, Squid. There were two dudes, Squid. They came to your island with, with the helper. They were snitching. I don't know why. I need names. Okay, let me get my, my screenshots. You gotta be careful, man. The snitches be everywhere. Anyways, I'm gonna go AFK now. Just act natural. Just <laughs> and I'm gone. It seemed strange to be helping my number one enemy, but his sheer dedication to farming potatoes had earned my respect. I had to give him help from one potato brother to another. 
Also, I'm deeply scared of him. Did you see what he said when I told him the names? Names noted. That is serial killer talk. We ain't gonna be hearing from those two guys ever again. I kept farming potatoes, and in a matter of days, Squid Kid's lead was almost completely destroyed. And yet Squid Kid himself had no idea. He even put a billboard on his island, number one in potatoes. But why would he suspect? Just a few days ago, he'd seen proof on the forums that he was millions in the lead. The poor fool had no idea what was coming. Aided. Ah! Yes! <laughs> Number one in potatoes! <laughs> to celebrate, I took my two alts and my main account, and then I AFK'd on all three of them! Hey! He was so confused that he didn't even realize that his potato leaderboard spot had already been taken, so I went to confront him myself one final time. What do you want? Why are you doing this? Your potato rank one spot is now mine! <laughs> <laughs> He's checking. He's checking. <laughs> How? <laughs> For years, my machinations lay undetected. <laughs> this is all I have. <laughs> Squid. Squid, I found a problem with your island. A critical flaw. Get over here. Over here! Squid! Squid, get over here. This sign, it has the wrong number. <laughs> Pretty bad week for Squid Kid overall, I'd say. First he got arrested, and then I cyberbullied him, but it had to be done. This spot is mine. And that's the story of how I became number one on the potato leaderboards, and we lived happily ever after. All the loose ends finally tied together. Well, except for one thing. Oh god, there's another one. There's another Jerry. And he's staring right at me. <gasps> there's another one. There's a Jerry in the water. No, 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 no. <gasps> there's another one out there. I don't understand. What do you want? What do you want? <gasps> There's another Jerry on the bridge. They've, they've got me surrounded. I don't understand. Uh... <laughs> he updated it. <laughs> and then I left. Squid warned me that he wasn't giving up on rank number one, but I didn't care. So I uploaded the Great Potato War. I uploaded it, so many people started using potato minions that the price of potatoes dropped 30% in the auction house. My plans to become rich had failed both in-game and in real life, but at least I had my potato rank. But when I visited Squid Kid's Island three days later, what I found shocked me. He had 23 minion slots. Now when I made the Great Potato War, some people criticized me for violating Sun Tzu's most basic tenet. Whatever you do, don't reveal all your techniques in a YouTube video. You fool. You moron. But my belief that the Potato War was already over hadn't been baseless. Between my three extra minion slots, most of Squid's minions not being max level, and the price of Catalyst skyrocketing due to needing the same materials as a new quest, Squid Kid would need almost a hundred million coins to catch up. And I knew for a fact he was broke. I decided to do some investigative journalism. I'd seen a new sign on Squid's Island advertising his new guild. So I did what any normal person would do and bought another alt account. And then I infiltrated the guild. But what I found confirmed my worst fears. People were helping Squid Kid. I'd cyberbullied Squid too hard. People had seen the video, felt bad, and gone to his island to hand him the spare items he needed to make more slots. Or in some cases just pay him millions of coins. All with the express purpose of defeating Technoblade once and for all. Now I can't complain about other people getting free stuff, but watching tens of millions get given to my arch nemesis by my own viewers, it was a bra moment. In a week, he had a farm even stronger than my own. My worst fears had been realized. Squid was catching up. If I wanted to remain number one, I had to act fast. Once more, I consulted the wisdom of ancient times. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable as night, and when you move... 
fall like a thunderbolt. I couldn't let Squid learn of my plan, so I boarded up the potato dome. I hired goons and swore them to secrecy. I knew Squid would be monitoring my actions, so I started an SMP series to throw him off the trail. And like that, I began my plan. I knew there was only one way to defeat Squid once and for all, by building a farm so powerful it reached the theoretical potato limit. And to do that, I would have to do something no solo player had ever done before. Unlock the 24th minion slot. It I farmed potatoes for so long that I began to question my sanity. I knew it was bad when one time, after finishing planting potatoes, I took a nap. And when I woke up, I had no idea how long I'd been asleep. But when I checked my farm, I instantly knew, Ah, these potatoes have been growing for three and a half hours. Shut up, I don't have a problem. Overall, Squid ended up farming over one million potatoes by hand. In that same time, I farmed over five million. I had to replant this entire field 19 times. Every day I monitored Squid's live streams on Twitch to the point where I amassed 9,000 channel points. I made sure to farm potatoes whenever he was live to demoralize him. Is he really planting potatoes too? We're gonna go check. This dude has a mental illness. As time went on, you could begin to hear the hope draining from his voice. I just can't believe how much he's farming. We need Minecraft Mondays to come back. At this point, I was pretty confident in winning the potato war, but the problem is I had no idea how large my lead was. I can see my own potato count and what rank I am, but Squid has disabled the API setting that allows other people to see exactly how many potatoes he's at. Little does he know I have spent the last four months meticulously updating a spreadsheet of our potato counts, which I did by crawling through his farm and timing each of his minions with the stopwatch every day to calculate his exact potato output. Based on the math, I should be about 22 million potatoes ahead, which would take over 200 hours of farming by hand. The only way to stop this from happening would be to get Squid to close his own island to visitors, without him realizing that that's what I wanted all along. It took four long months, but it finally happened. But anyways, back to this tweet. So Squid says he closed his island because someone filled his potion system with rookie axes. A common trolling method in Skyblock is to fill people's inventories with useless items like boats. But the rookie axe is even worse for players like Squid Kid who use the Skyblock add-ons mod, which has a feature which makes it very difficult to drop tools out of your inventory. The point is to stop people from accidentally dropping weapons worth millions of gold, but it also applies to the rookie axe sold in shops for 12 coins. So basically someone dumping a ton of rookie rookie axes into your hopper system is the worst thing someone can do to you in Skyblock. Now I've always been interested in psychology, in fact, I almost majored in it, so after six months of stalking Squid Kid, I developed a bit of a psychological profile of this man. I know how he talks, I know how he thinks. And when I saw this tweet, I instantly knew that this man was lying. Now don't get me wrong, I completely believe that somebody dropped rookie axes into his hopper system. Because it was me. But that's not the real reason he closed his island. After all, I'd been dropping rookie axes into his hoppers for weeks, but he sent that tweet eight minutes after he kicked my ult. So I get to thinking, why would Squid lie about that? And I realize Squid knows I monitor his tweets, but what he doesn't know is that that was my alt account. From his perspective, that could have been some random guy with a rabbit, and if that was the case, I'd have no idea rabbits could be used that way. As such, him lying in that tweet could only mean one thing. He's about to sabotage me! So I held a stake out on my island, and guess what I found a few hours later? A brand new Skyblock account afk with a level 1 legendary rabbit. Truthfully, I could have stopped Squid before he even joined my island, but I wanted to catch him in the act because I'm always getting comments saying, oh my god, Technoblade, why are you so mean to Squid? They don't understand. This is war. There's no holding back. I know that, and Squid knows that. The only difference is that I'm 20 steps ahead. He's playing Skyblock while I'm playing Death Note. He thinks he can outsmart me with my own strategies because he is yet to realize that he is but a puppet and I the puppeteer. Dance, potato boy, dance! <sighs> So anyways, I got on my secret alt account and then sent his secret alt account a party invitation. And then I DM'd him on Discord, yo dude, accept my invite. Well, this is awkward. He actually did accept my invite. We had a lovely conversation. And then I banned him from my island. Get out of here. He tried again with another account a few days later. I don't have any proof that this account is him, but look at that username, Stinky Bozo. That's a pretty unusual word. In fact, I've only heard one person say it. Bozo, Bozo. You are a Bozo. Bozo. Nice one, Bozo. You're, you're a freaking Bozo, Bozo. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. But Squid was also farming several hours a day, and he had even found a way to maximize his AFK coverage. He started sleeping 
with his headphones on and had his goons wake him up via Discord call whenever his alt left his island. As someone with a Discord bot tracking his online activity, I can tell you right now that that man is telling the truth. He was waking up multiple times per night. I don't know why he didn't just use backups like me. He actually revealed to me later on that one of my original goons betrayed me and gave him one of our internal documents. And the list of backup pet users is literally right there at the top of the first page. I have no idea how he missed it. But anyways, Squid logged off an hour and a half ago. He should be entering REM sleep just about now. It would be a real shame if someone woke him. I didn't actually wake him up because I wasn't sure if intentional sleep deprivation was legally considered torture or not, so I decided to shelve that strategy for the time being. And after sacrificing two weeks of my life, I finally reached 500 million potatoes. We win these! Squid was shocked. He's at 499. No, he's not. Dude, that's actually like it's not possible. No. It's not. This can't be real. Squid had been certain that he was right on my tail. I don't know how far behind I am. 100% less than 30 million. And yet when I won the war, I had a lead of over 88 million potatoes. How did I do it? It's just as Sun Tzu says, all war is deception. You see, I knew after the second potato war video that things were going to get more difficult from here on out. Because at this point, Squid had a full organization back in him. He had goons, a cabal of billionaires funding his every move, hundreds of stream viewers making constant suggestions on how to farm potatoes more quickly and report in on my every move. So in that video, I prepared my final trick. I hid my true potato count. The number shown in my video wasn't edited, but it didn't include the millions of potatoes left uncollected in my minion. Towards the very end, Squid had one of his goons write a program to chart how much I was farming by tracking how much experience my elephant pet had. But by then... It was too late. Once I won the war, there was nothing left to do except celebrate my victory with grace and humility. Oh my gosh! He's doing a little emote on me! Oh my- Not like this! Come on! Was- Was this necessary? Watch me dance, Squid Kid! You lose! You lose the war! After the war, the admins added a temporary NPC to the Skyblock Hub, the Potato King. It gave out a new talisman which boosted potato minions by 5%, a basket for the top 1,000 potato farmers, and to me, the potato crown, engraved upon it the words, all men can see the tactics whereby I conquer, but what none can see is the strategy out of which victory is evolved. Sun Tzu the art of war. That NPC is gone now. I took too long to edit this video. I gained a lot from the potato war. Patience, discipline, carpal tunnel. I guess my main regret is that I bribed Squid's Discord admin to give my alt permission to see into his secret text channels, and then he never used them all year. With the war over, Squid took down his potato minions, and my fields have gone unfarmed. While we were enemies, I still respect Squid Kid. I understand now that it is only with a worthy rival that one can reach their fullest potential. While he may have lost the war, he's gone from 70 subscribers to having tens of thousands of fans, so it can't be said that he's lost completely. For my part, I've realized now that that rank number one isn't an achievement, it's a prison, which forces you to dedicate your life to defending a temporary title. But now, with the war finally over, I'm free.